from a job? I don't think so. Could have taken this week from vacations, maybe. Unless he works no. as at a school or something. I don't know. Uh, let's let's get into game and and uh, find out what's going to happen over here. Kilson versus Ricky Ricardo. Best of three group stage. Kilson just goes straight for the railgun. This reminds me now of Zetien a little bit. Oh, okay. Ricky actually comes in and steals the right. That's the craziest start I've seen. And he's going to be getting the mega right after. How does Ricky know he was going to do that? I that was just. I think he heard him when he was going to... Ow, oh, it hurts. It stings so much, but it's going to be Ricky who comes back at him. Okay, LG was fine. After that such a good start, he shouldn't have lost that much health, because now he's giving Kilson a chance to actually challenge him here, and Kilson. Oh my god, yeah, that was close. That's, that's what happens. Like, that's such a good start that Ricky had, and he, la and he picked the fight that wasn't exactly favorable for him. Kilson managed to do a ton of damage, and he got back instantly into the game. You say he got back into it though, Ricky, he's picking up a resource, he's got himself the yellow armor, Mega's gonna be up in a moment. And he's oh. gonna hit the direct, he's in the lead again. Kilson playing a bit strangely, I don't think you should necessarily experiment with that start when you're at red. Taking red at the beginning, it's nice, it's secure. I don't see why you should go to the rail that fast. Yeah, I mean, especially... Someone did like the the very aggressive start picking up the uh, the lightning gun and going straight to the rail. You just die instantly there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Especially with no red. Maybe you'd be able to beat Kelson here. You get an easy beginning. I think he just hit two rails in a row. Yeah, I mean that's been very. Would possible. it even be funny? <laughs> Ricky though, missing a couple of his rails, he's gonna have a hard time trying to defend his red armor. In fact, I think he's going to be forfeiting it to Kilson just to try and do the damage with the grenades and the rockets. Oh, that oh, was nice. nice. He's fine with a bit of LG, but Kilson's rockets somehow just gravitating towards him. It's like Kilson not really caring about him. Oh, oh the pummel! So, so close! close. <laughs> I can't believe it. Ricky almost scoring uh, bonus points for that. Ricky knows exactly where he is, so Red should be taken by Ricky. He should be getting some a big item over here. Oh man! Well, he takes the red. He doesn't get much in return. No, but can he take the damage. yellow? Yeah, he'll take the yellow. So no more armor on the map for Kilson, but does miss that trail as well. So I think he'll be left with the uh, one of the greens. So well played. Ricky can't even. Challenge Kilson from that position with a rocket launcher. Off the bounce pad. Ricky's actually been lucky to survive with the amount of health he had left. Mega behind if Kilson cares to take it. But damage was his uh, primary goal. So oh, now he's. He needs to go to the red immediately. Leave the Mega up. It could be a gamble if Ricky sees it up. Yep, now it's gonna be Mega for Ricky, but can he get out now? So fall in the water. Oh, he stepped in it, but he didn't get punished too hard. I, I wanna switch over to Ricky actually for a moment. Oh, he's only less than starting stack. A well placed rocket or grenade, and uh, you're out of here, sir. And this red's in love for five seconds. Yep, Kelson's gonna walk in. Ricky, you better GTFO. Oh my goodness, he actually stepped. Forward with the grenade there. I cannot see Ricky surviving for more. Yeah. Well, he's kind of sacrificed himself, doing some okay damage. He's got to keep on appearing and do damage at this mega if he wants to try and make that strat work. Otherwise, no, no. just no, it's not even time for that. And he didn't even pick up the yellow, so he's, he's just gave full control to Kilson, and he, now he definitely needs to play it slowly. Yeah, there is time to uh, slow play this game with six minutes left. Get the rocket launcher, use those choke points. So well played from Kilson. Trying to, playing it slowly as well, trying to figure out what Ricky's moves are going to be, trying to listen out for the sound cues and actually getting a frag because of that. Kilson, is he gonna get 200-200? Uh, no Ricky around? No, not this time. Usually he's 
Always got a presence of these big items. Kelson just waiting there. Is Ricky gonna make a wrong step? He won't, he was actually looking the right way. Red's not up for five seconds. Ricky, you can back off. You have got the yellow if you want it. You can even set up for Mega or something. But now there's not enough time. Kilson's gonna walk around the corner. Easy pickings, basically. So that's annoying. Okay. But Ricky, I mean, he's, he's doing this rail, but he's working on nothing. Yeah, and it's actually rail at all. Didn't you have to play a TDM game? Oh yeah, they, I think they wild carded, so we're going to be playing Thursday. Ah, okay, okay. You can stream it again with your team chat. <laughs> who, was, who was it against? Uh, NDC. Ah, okay. Are they a Russian team or something? Uh, I think an Ukrainian team. Ukrainian team, okay. Green armor has been taken by Ricky up at the top. But uh, there's not a whole lot going against this tank. Ricky is playing it very slowly. He's just trying to keep that score as close as possible. I don't know if he's really trying to actively win. I think he's just trying to minimize the damage. He's winning for an opportunity, but he's, he's pretty much waiting for Kilson to give him that opportunity. For Kilson to misstep hugely, and that's, that doesn't usually happen. Good damage from Ricky. But does he have anything to follow up on that? More than certainly not, but let's have a look at yellow. Ricky is there. He does have a one rail after. Uh, this one was too easy for Kelsen. 32% plasma actually for the German. Kelsen's just uh, getting through standard days. Uh, Work at the office. <laughs> Getting him to the playoffs right now. And I think if he wins uh, the next two games, and easily secured his, his place. He'll have Demon to go against. I'm quite gutted that we don't have Demon around today. Because there would actually be some really enjoyable matchups. Demon versus Twister would be awesome. Demon versus Kilsa would also be fantastic. But we're going to have to wait for that one. Maybe on Thursday, instead of Sparty versus Arsenal and Evil, we'll have a a couple of demon games instead. Yeah, probably. Speaking of which, is Sparta playing any more games? I don't know if CNZ or Madball is around, so... I'm not sure about that. But now, Sparty's chances of getting through the gr uh, groups are considerably slim. Yeah, that is right, you will need to... He needs to beat CNZ and Madwell, and then he needs to hope that some other results in the group go into certain individuals' favor and help him through, I think. It is top three out of five, after all. Yeah. Oh, nice LG, Kelson. He's just going to wait for him to double back. He does, but uh, Ricky doesn't do it. Solid 39% LG, 50 rail. Uh, Kilson looks very relaxed. Yeah, in his crazy way. I mean, as soon as he starts aiming, he doesn't look so relaxed, but... I mean, it is. And then we've got GG's over there. Um, well played though. Ricky did try to keep it slow and his start actually was, was decent. Or should I say Kilson's start wasn't. He tried, he tried to be smart and it just, no. Don't ignore that red armor and go straight to rail. It's not like Blood Run where you can go for an immediate Yeah, that's red what he angle. does in other maps. He thought maybe it will work in here too. Not well, really. I mean, what, what would have actually happened if he got that rail and then he would have gone to an angle at Mega and maybe Ricky would have yeah, been I sitting on the Mega he health? Th the problem there was Ricky doing what Kilson did, delaying the item. Yeah, so when they both go for it, it, it's basically a big gamble. Maybe yes. it could pay off, but I I think... Um, actually, no, maybe, maybe like 60-70% of the time it would work. I don't know. 
Well, I guess when you're going against Kilson, that's what you'd watch out for anyway, so... He just needs to fake Nick a bit more. Anyway, let's get over to silence now. Kilson's on match point. He just needs to get this one, and then we should be setting up for him versus Twister oh my shortly goodness. after. That's a lot of damage over here. We got the yellow up. Yeah, Ricky's on three points of health. Did he get 25? I can't believe he's still alive. Four points of health now. You have taken well, the he's not. <laughs> Kilson's gonna have to set up for this red. She didn't really have a challenge. No, he's giving Kilson a lot of space. Just take it, man. Just don't kill me. He wants this yellow armor, but it's so annoying. Standing up there as someone charges through the teleporter, you don't have many ways you can go. You can try and rocket jump up or jump downwards, but more than likely they'll try and chase you down through the lower route. The easy red. That's actually the, the bounce pad used by Ricky. That's not where you want to go. He jumps down to the bottom. And Kilson has once it has once again got it covered. He's got everything covered. He's playing so solid today, not really making any mistakes. He's got to prepare for Twister. Twister's gonna try and poke a couple of holes in his game. Ow. Only 34% LG. I'm guessing that was around 90. <laughs> Yeah, 75 rail, but he hasn't fired that many. That that was uh, a quite a weird rail. Looks a little bit too uh, intensely. And this is a uh, Kilson's map pick, as far as I remember. What would actually make someone learn to use the railgun like that? I don't know. It's I, like I, I use rails in this kind of the same same way that Stermy does. Like I just let the mouse there and hope for the guy to go over it. I, I, I don't know how you could possibly want to just flick everything like a maniac. I, I'm, I'm not sure, like, when you start playing FPS games, how do you get that kind of style? Like, it's fine, I understand that some people will differentiate, maybe they, they want to do more flicks. And they want to take more risks with their rails. And some people are like, well, I'm only going to hit when I'm 100% certain that it's going to hit. But it, it's, it's actually like the, the entire mouse control and everything is... It's got like the biggest uh, mouse axle from all of the top players. Does he? Yeah. Doesn't uh, like Rafa have really high axle? Yeah, I think, but I think Dilton's even bigger than that. Wow. And I... I'm guessing that's because like when you're a new player and you're trying to get back into the game, you try to make uh, your mouse control as... You will eventually try to get your mouse control as smooth as possible. Because uh, like if you see a lot of the... Low tier, play low tier yellow players play, they're mm -hmm. alright with their decisions. But when it comes to the fights, they're just... Their mouse goes all over the place. And I think Kilson, he just kept <laughs> letting his mouse go, go all over the place. And he eventually learned to aim like that. Oh, it's gotta be. The only person I know who moves his mouse anywhere similar is Jiro. Yeah. And it actually, it's uncanny how, how insanely similar the styles are. Yeah, but Jiro holds the mouse in a weird way. And I don't know how it's that similar. Kilson looks pretty sort of standard when he sits down, you know? Yeah. He's very German, he's very efficient, he's got it all laid out nicely. Mouse, keyboard on the table, he's not faffing about with this Russian style keyboard on the legs or anything. He just sat, he's got good posture. Focus, right distance between his monitor and his eyes. A smile in his face. Yeah. He's Probably singing. Wearing later hose? No, it's not like that. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, he doesn't have any like crazy holding style or sort of, you know, habits at the desk or anything. Like Cooler no longer has that Russian style where his keyboard on your lap. So he, he, has, he has a cooler style now. He can like sit so close to the desk, it's his nipples are touching the table, and then he's got his just arms flat on the table with his 
with the keyboard turned at a 90 degree angle. Yeah, now, now since he, have, he has his mouse, he needs uh, his style as well, so he developed it. <laughs> well, that was before his mouse existed. He was already preparing for it. <laughs> Maybe it's like, will people copy me if I play like this? <laughs> like, it would be really difficult to to do his style. Twelve k DPI basically aims for you. Oh my god! Don't buy a mouse. This is one top tip: never buy a mouse based on the amount of DPI it can possibly get. Yeah, like kind of stay. like DPI is one of the irrelevant facts or the irrelevant statistics or things uh, on a mouse. But when you do have a mouse, check if the different DPI have more or less uh, input lag. And always yeah. try to use the DPI, uh, the native DPI of the mouse, if it has more than one. Because the other ones are likely to have been scaled from that one and not always done properly. Even Ricky even just got subscribed. Yeah, excellent. even getting excellence in here. Ricky says, GG, well play. I can't, sad face. Fair play, Kilson's gonna take him down and I, I'm gonna prepare the scoreboard in and